What's up guys, it's Nick with Two Brothers Comics and today we're going to be doing the How Accurate Is. This time we're going to be doing it with Key Collector Comics. We've done it with GoCollect.com, CoverPrice.com. So if that's something you're into, stay tuned. All right, everybody. So if you have collected comic books, you are probably familiar with this app. In this case, it is the desktop version uh, of Key Collector Comics. Uh, it's a fairly useful app. There is a lot of information here. But what we're going to be focusing on today is the comic book price guide. Uh, so let's take a quick overview just for the sake of anybody that maybe has not used it before. Key Collector Comics, again, is a, is a very popular app. The UI on it is very nice. Uh, you can you basically get most things done for free. If you do subscribe, you get it to unlock some of these additional uh, you know, subscription categories, we'll say. Uh, some of these categories are interesting. Some of these are a bit strange to me, like the bondage uh, category here that just seems honestly quite strange to me but okay and uh but anyways again a lot of really good stuff and if you're into spec books and specking on comics it can be a useful tool but you know if it's hit the app then you're kind of behind the ball because now everybody else knows too now a lot of people have talked about the price guide in the past for this i've heard several people say you know the pricing is not very accurate so that's what i want to look at um I didn't even realize they considered themselves an actual price guide, but if you see here in the description, it says they're the world's most comprehensive database and price guide of key issues. So if that's a claim you're going to make, I hope it is very accurate. So we'll see, right? I have no issues with the app. I used to use it quite a bit. I used to subscribe to it. And then, you know, I ended up getting out of it. I didn't need it. Uh, I can kind of do the research on my own, but that's okay. This app makes it very useful for you. Um, and, and very simple, right? You just click on an app, click on a, t uh, a category here, and you know, go on with your hunt. So let's do like we've done in any other of the uh, videos. Let's do let's do the randomizer. Let's see what pops up. All right, Marvel Mystery Comics number forty nine, Swamp Thing forty three. <laughs> That's interesting. Pep Comics twenty five, Nick Fury, All American Comics seventeen. Lois Lane, and again, if you check this out, uh, you can see there are some descriptions. Uh, and to be clear, they're only talking about key comics. You're not going to find every comic book here. It is strictly what they might consider a key. Um, first appearance, Showcase 60. So let's start with this: Showcase 60, first appearance of the Spectre and Silver Age, first appearance of Asmodos. Now they're telling you here: low of twenty dollars, mid of sixty-five, high of three thirty-five. Let's check it out. Now, one of the ways that Key Collector, I believe, creates revenue, uh, not just on the subscriptions, but also through eBay affiliate links. So you can click here, it pops open to showcase 60. Now, let's go back a tab and let's see. So they're saying high of 335, low of 20. So let's check it out. And that's a very, very broad range. They don't break it down by fine, very fine, graded, none of that. So again, I don't think comprehensive is the best word, maybe specifically keys. But for pricing, I don't think so. So let's go to, uh, like we have in every other video, sold, sold items. All right, $37, $44, $40, 50 So low end, yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? But let's look at over 75 325 and 80 525 accepted. They're saying 9-2 there. But again, accepted uh, with the cross through is not actually what it's sold for. 250, 930, 360, and a 94. However, it is a purple label. 320. And what is it telling us? 3 335 is the high. Let's keep looking through. Let's go up here and let's see what the highest grade was. So 525. So I guess that you know it's not uh an accurate We'll say, I mean, again, high, I think we did find one, yeah, about 360, so that's sold uh, last month. So, I mean, you know, it's off $25 maybe, but that's, that's not uncommon for any of these pricing guides. All right, so let's go down and let's look at, let's look at the hot 10, the hot 10. 
list. All right, so we'll scroll through the Star Wars Clone Wars number one. Um, this one has been one that's obviously been selling considerably. Um, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one, a book that is taking off like you wouldn't believe. Low 1.2K, mid 3K, high of 12K. I don't even have to look to tell you that price range um, of the 12K high, not a chance. Uh, a 9.8 is close to a six figure book. All right, ooh, Bone number one, the first appearance of Phone Bone. So this is actually a book that I've been wanting uh, quite a bit. I do have a second print. And uh, so let's check this out, right? So I'm, this is something I'm very interested in. First appearance of Bone, they've talked about um, a uh, show starting it's by Jeff Smith. I think it's a Netflix. Um, let's see. And see, look, right here in their own thing, they're telling you their prices aren't right. Low of 100, mid of 300, high of 1K. Look, CGC 98 sales, the first was for $12,000, the previous record of 5K. Um, okay, that's only off by 11,000. So that's, that's odd, that's weird, but we'll keep going. Um, Star Wars 42, just picked this book up, uh, low of $20, mid 75, that, that makes sense, high of 210. Let's see. All right, let's pop it open. We'll click on through the affiliate link here. Let's go down to sold. And let's see, 305. Okay, that's pretty hefty, and that was yesterday. And this book is only going to be heating up. So what is the 210? Okay, that's a, a already almost $100 over with shipping. We won't count that. 205, not bad. 350 and a 40, but that was signed. That was signed. Uh, 250, 250. All right, $1,500 for a Star Wars number 42 CGC 9.8 that was sold just a few days ago for $1,500. Yeah, that's uh, that's off by a considerable amount there from 210 So $210 of the high, $1,500 on the 9.8 sold listing. I mean... Thousand dollars for a nine six was ex best offer accepted. And obviously, that was best offer, but assuming it's you know somewhere considerably uh, above that. All right, let's just see if we can find one more. Eight thirty, best price accepted. Holy cow, nine eight fifteen hundred dollars sold. So fourteen ninety five. Where to go? Nine eight sold. Um. Yeah, so I would venture to say that that is again pretty 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 poor there. Um, pretty much not accurate. Pretty much not accurate there. Dark Hawk number one. I'm not even looking at that one. I refuse. Again, Raphael Team and T number one. Another book that's kind of popped off quite a bit. Uh, ooh, Batman 181. Uh, the first appearance of Pamela Isley, Poison Ivy. She is really an awesome, awesome character. So let's check it out. We'll go down here, go to sold. Three ninety four is the very first one. What was their high? One point three thousand. So let's thirteen hundred bucks. Let's see. Anything more than thirteen hundred? All right, so an eight oh twenty two hundred dollars best offer accepted, but it slashed through. So obviously we can't necessarily tell you exactly what that was. A nine four eleven thousand dollars was the list price. Best offer accepted though, slashed through. We can't count it yet. Wow, eleven thousand dollars for that book. Could you imagine if you picked up comic books like we do now back then, immediately went a bag and board and kept it really nice and crispy? Ooh, you'd be rich. $4.99. Alright, maybe let's go up here and put another filter on. Let's let's look for some high grade. 
Now again, $11,000 was the list price, $2,200 was the list price there, but we can't count it because it was slashed through. So let's see. All right, 1956, this was a confirmed sale this past month. 1900 and some change. Let's see. $1,300. So again, you're about 600 bucks off. So, and that's just, that's just in a 8.0. So that means those other higher grades likely sold for a considerable amount more. So in this scenario, I mean, I think it's fair to say uh, I would not necessarily go off of these prices um, by any means. If you had one of these books and you're like, oh yeah, I have Star Wars 42. Let me post it in a 9.8 up for sale for a 210. You would be losing about $1,300. Um, Bone, you would have lost 14 grand. What did it say it sold for down here? Sorry, 11, you would have lost $11,000. And the information is right here in the own thing. Um, and I'm assuming these work off of averages based on eBay sales, and they may not be able to tell between first print, second print, third print, whatever. Um, but again, if you're going to put the information out there, just like I mentioned in cover price and go collect, if you're going to put that information out there that you're a, a comprehensive price guide, um, and maybe maybe the comprehensive database and they're not really a comprehensive price guide That's just maybe more on the side but That's fine. But like I said with the other two If you're gonna put that information out there, you want it to be as accurate as possible And in this scenario, I mean it was it was pretty bad off. So I would uh, I, I would use this this app for you know the information the database I would never likely uh use the prices on it i just wouldn't um i just absolutely wouldn't but again i don't know if that's necessarily what people use it for but they claim their price guide so i thought we'd check it out we're going to be looking at some other ones as well guys so if this is something you enjoyed let me know your thoughts let me know your opinions on it uh the app is definitely a very positive app um there's a lot of great things to it and um for what it's worth hope you enjoyed the video guys Thanks for being the best part of Two Brothers Comics. And as always, collect your way.